Good day, my wonderful students, and thank you for watching today's podcast dealing with Cambodia's Khmer Rouge. The Khmer Rouge movement began in the jungles of Cambodia in the early 1960s. Influenced by the Vietnamese, pro-communist Cambodians began using guerrilla tactics to weaken the established government. Because of political instability, a civil war broke out in Cambodia between supporters of the Communist Party of Kampuchea, known as the Khmer Rouge, and the government forces of Cambodia. The civil war was fought from 1970 to 1975 and is often considered to be part of the Vietnam War, with the United States and North and South Vietnam involved in the conflict. Much of the United States' involvement in Cambodia was kept secret by the Nixon administration. Even Congress was unaware that the United States had dropped 540,000 tons of bombs in Cambodia. Once word got out that the United States had secretly invaded the country, protests erupted across the United States. These actions not only fueled the anti-war sentiment or attitude in America, but it also led to greater support for the Khmer Rouge in Cambodia due to massive civilian casualties as a result of the bombings. After years of civil war, the Khmer Rouge, led by a man named Pol Pot, seized control of Cambodia's capital, Phnom Penh, in 1975. Influenced by China's Mao Zedong and his Great Leap Forward, Pol Pot wanted to transform Cambodia into a rural, agricultural society. Step one of Pol Pot's super Great Leap Forward was the evacuation of Phnom Penh's 2.5 million citizens to camps in the countryside. This fate was experienced by all Cambodians living in the cities, and thousands died as a result of the evacuations. Pol Pot renamed Cambodia and began restricting the rights and freedom citizens once enjoyed in the newly formed Democratic Republic of Kampuchea. The Khmer Rouge abolished money, free markets, private property, foreign clothing styles, and religious practices. Public schools, houses of worship, universities, and government buildings were closed or turned into prisons. Newspaper, television, radio, mail, and bicycles no longer existed in Pol Pot's Cambodia. Pol Pot ordered the deadly cleansing of the old society, executing educated and middle-class people, Buddhist monks, police, lawyers, teachers, and former government officials. Family members were often executed as well. Even though Cambodia successfully implemented a policy of isolationism, News of the events in the country made it into headlines around the world, but nothing was done. By the late 1970s, relations between Cambodia and one-time ally Vietnam began to fall apart, with Cambodia aggressively entering Vietnam and initiating small border clashes, a full-scale war erupted. Within months, Vietnam gained complete control of Cambodia, overthrowing the Khmer Rouge and sending Pol Pot into hiding. 
During Pol Pot's four-year reign, two to two and a half million Cambodians died at the hands of the Khmer Rouge, making up 25% of the country's population. Pol Pot died in 1998 at the age of 72, without ever facing an international trial for his numerous human rights violations. Thank you for watching.